welcome back to the channel and today we will be looking at another broiler investigation however this broiler investigation is focusing on hyper feeds versus nutrimix feeds as it relates to the growth of broiler chicks please stay tuned we will be back shortly <music> All right, guys, so as you can see, the cover page here, it states Agricultural Science Briler Investigation. And as you note, um, on the front here, there are also some other important information like the name of the student, the registration number, the school, the project title. The project title states Investigation of Feed Conversion Ratio of Briler Birds fed on Nutramix feeds versus IPRO feeds and the project start date was October 31st 2017 and the project end date November 30 2017 all right let's move to page two all right so here we have the introduction and on the introduction sheet we have the problem statement and the aim and please remember that this section values two marks all right so the problem statement reads different brands of chicken feed comprise different quantities of ingredients and therefore may affect the weight gain and fcr of broiler chickens in order to determine the effects different brand of feed of on the weight and fcr of chicken an investigation will be carried out at the St. Mary High School on October 31st, 2017 to November 30, 2017. Alright, so what you need to remember about your problem statement is that you should identify a problem or a situation that needs improvement and make a suggestion of a solution. Alright, especially in this SBA, which is... It does not have an hypothesis so it's very important that you suggest a solution in your problem statement and also the start date end date the name of the institution very important all right let's go to the aim the aim is to determine the effects that nutrimix chicks feed chicken feeds and hypervet chicken feeds will have on the weight gain and feed conversion ratio of broiler chickens all right, so as I said, that values two marks. Let's move on quickly to the methodology. All right, so quickly the methodology values six marks, as you can see here, right? One for experimental de design, one for list of materials, a maximum of two for activities that will be done, and one for photograph and one for data collection. All right, so let's quickly move back over to the SBA here all right so this is the layout and the design so a poultry house located at the St. Mary High School will be used to conduct the investigation a total of 20 chicks will be used for the experiment at day one the chicks will be weighed and 10 chickens each will be placed in two labeled section within the coop one section above the other one section will be labeled IPRO and the other Nutramix which will be on top, the top section of the coop. The spacing per broiler will be one square foot. All right. So what you need to understand is that with this SBA, the, the chicks will be brooded in one section. So 10 will be brooded here, 10 will be brooded here and they will be allowed to grow up to their full life. For the six weeks as well so 10 will be brewed here and from brooding to six weeks they'll be here from brooding up to the six weeks they'll be here all right so in this case they are not brooded for the two weeks and then the experiment is carried out four weeks the experiment will be carried out for the whole six weeks from brooding right up all right so that's a chicken coop here all right for the list of materials and equipment used 
poultry and salt house chicks feed super booster knives a fork water pan water light bulbs and light feed pan sawdust newspaper curtain push broom garbage bag scale storeroom soap clear bags and the uses are uh, briefly described here all right so the poultry house for the house in the chicks from one to six weeks slaughter house for killing the chicks the feed for providing food for the chicken super boost enhance growth and strengthen the immune system the knives this was used to remove the chicks neck a fork this was used to equally spread sawdust on the floors in preparation for the chicks water pan this provides water for the chicks water the chicks drank this to prevent dehydration and it was also used in the dis disinfecting of the equipment light bulb and light the light bulbs provide light for the chicks to be able to see in the dark and this also provide warm for them feed pan the feed was placed in this at a certain height so that the chicks were able to reach it to eat leaven sawdust this was placed over the concrete floor so that the chicks wouldn't be on the cold floor and it also served as a litter to collect their waste all right the newspaper this was placed over the sawdust to collect waste and prevent the young chicks from eating the sawdust instead of their food 13 curtains these were placed on the outside of the brooders and they provide warmth for the chicks push broom this was used when during cleaning to push out excess water and dust particles 15 garbage bag the chicks were placed in these after being slaughtered and placed in clear bags 16 scale this was used to weigh the chicks both alive and dead 17 storeroom this was used to store the feed and other equipment until we were ready to use them 18 soap this was used to disinfect the water pans feed pans and also the hands of the students 19 clear bags chicks were placed in these to be sold okay so data collection here so remember data collection in this section you just state the information that you will collect in your result all right so this is written in future tense so we have three important information that will be collected and that's a a is feed consumed okay feed consumed the quantity of feed in pounds given to the chickens for six weeks will be measured and documented all right so that information will be collected B the live weight of the chickens the live weight of the chickens in pounds at six weeks will be measured and documented and last but not least C the feed conversion ratio the feed conversion ratio of the chickens over the six weeks period will be calculated using the formula FCR equal total feed consumed over total weight of the chickens and that section values one mark are the activities described that will be carried out so these just some of them you need to have uh, if you have all of five or more that's good all right let's start with the first one changing wet newspaper this was done to decrease the buildup of bacteria which can transmit certain disease which could affect the chicks feeding of baby chicks the baby chicks were introduced to feed on a tray on their first day of arrival they were also introduced to water and given super booster in the water for seven days of life which was done to give them a start in life as this is able to supply the chicks with nutrient supplements as well as provide medication for the chicks which is necessary for the prevention of the disease all right let's go to the other one providing fresh and clean water on the first day of arrival the chicks were introduced to the plasan it contained the super booster this was done to reduce the buildup of bacteria in the water that could have caused death amongst the chicks in the experiment area as well removing dead chicks this was done to also prevent the growth of microorganisms which would have caused the chicks in the surrounding area to be affected records of these happenings were noted slaughtering this followed a series of actions that were done these actions were done in order stunning it in the chick that is that it is senseless to pain coning removal of the chick's head or cutting the artery at the neck in order to kill the bird 
Third, scalding. Dipping the chicks into a pot of hot water then introducing the carcass to cool water in order to prevent cooking. Defeathering. Feather on the carcass of the chicken, chicken's body were removed especially at ear of the wings and tail. And finally, evisceration. This is where an opening is created below the tail of the birds by making a circular cut around the cleoca. From the cavity created, the offers along with the heart, lungs, and liver to prevent the meat from spoiling. Alright, so let's move to the activities that were actually done. And um, of course, these activities were recorded on a weekly basis as well as they were backed with pictures. Very, very important. Week 1. Clean and disinfect poultry house. 2. Prepare brooder slash or check for hose. 3. Wash all feed and water containers. And of course, that's backed with pictures. Week 2. Introduction of baby chicks. 2. Count chicks and check for deformities. 3. Feed chicks and refill water daily. 4. Provide supplement. 1 teaspoon per gallon. 5. Change newspaper daily. And of course, that those activities are backed with pictures. As you can see, the, the super booster is here in the water. Week 3. Brooding continues. Store sawdust daily in morning and evening. 3. Introduce chick to feed pan and plus and 4. Wash plus and daily. 5. Remove chicks from brooder. Ex expand space for chicks. 6. Feed chicks. 7. Wash plus and 8. Add sawdust. And the pictures come now. Alright, so those are the pictures here. This is where the space has been expanded here. Sawdust will be added here. This is where the sawdust has been added. Week 4. Wash containers, change water daily, store up sawdust and feeding daily. Alright, so this is a picture of when the plasan is being washed. Week 5. Wash containers. 2. Change water daily. 3. Stir up sawdust and feeding daily. Week 6. Prepare slaughtering house. 2. Gather cutlery and other materials. 3. Slaughtering, defeathering and evisceration of chickens. 4. Weighing and packaging. 5. Selling of the product. 6. Record keeping. And those are the pictures there. Alright, so we are completed with the methodology and as I said that value is 6 marks. Let's move to the result. So as was stated, the information that you would collect in your result, those were listed in the data collection section. Alright, so the result here is the actual information that was collected. So this is written in past tense. Alright, All right, so... A, the feed consumed, because it was stated in the data collection that you would collect this information, right? So here, let's look at this table of the feed consumed. Table 1 below shows the total amount of feed consumed by the chickens over the 6 weeks period. So this table here, this column here, it has IPRO and this column, the Nutramix. So the total feed consumed over the 6 weeks period it was 19 bags each, the same amount, right? And of course, you get marks for interpreting the information on the table here, right? So the chicks from both sections get the same amount of feed. All right, that's basically it. That's what the table is saying, right? And of course, that same information from the table, it is presented here in a graph. So the same information is presented here in a bar graph. In another video, I hopefully I'll show you how to prepare a graph. So I'm going to show you how to create your graph on the laptop. All right, but that's it for another video. And guys, please remember to share this video. All right, and subscribe to the channel because it has 10 past papers in it and you don't want to miss those. Multiple choice. All right, so the second set of information that was said that would be collected is the live weight of 
the chickens, right? So here it says table two shows the weight of the chicks on day one and week six fed on Nutramix and Ipro feeds. All right, so this column, all of this column here is the Ipro feed. Over here is the Nutramix feed and this is the number of birds. So 10 birds each. Those were the weight on day one, all right? So the total weight for the day one old chicks for these 10 is one pound and 14 ounce right here, right? The total weight at six weeks is 46 pounds for the IPRO. And here is the same amount the chicks weighed, right? At day one. And for the total amount of feed for when they reach six weeks is 44.3 very important with this sba the total was just added up at six weeks and the day the weight from day one was subtracted from it all right um the interpretation for the table very very important you get marks for that as well all right let's go the total weight of the 10 chickens fed on hyper feed was 1.7 pounds higher than the chickens fed on nutramix feed the total live weight of the chicks fed on hyper feed was 46 pounds while the chicks fed on Nutramix feed was 44.3 pounds. Continuation, the 20 chicks operated at day one at the same weight of 1.14 pounds. Alright, so that information in the table there is presented here in another bar graph so it says figure two showing the total body weight of the two sets of chicks at six weeks old all right so the hyper feed, the chickens fed with the hyper feed they were heavier than those fed with nutramix that's what it is saying all right let's go to the third part of the result the third and final part it says the feed conversion ratio all right so Table 3 showing feed conversion ratio of both set of chicks that were fed with IPRO and Nutramix. Alright, so the IPRO, this is the FCR 2.3 to 1 and for Nutramix it's 2.4 to 1. So with this interpretation here, it can be seen that the chickens fed under IPRO feeds, they have a lower FCR and that is good. That's, it means that these chicks eat less feed. To put on one pound of body weight the hyper feed chickens they eat 2.3 pounds of feed to put on one pound of body weight while those fed on nutramix they eat 2.4 pounds of feed to put on the one pound of body weight so the chicken actually from the hyper feed, feed they are doing they did better according to this experiment so the interpretation of table three Chicks fed on IPRO feeds have a lower FCR than chicks fed on Nutramix feed. The last last part now is that, that those FCR, they are presented here in this bar graph. So of course it shows that the IPRO, these chicks have a lower FCR than those of Nutramix. Alright, so importantly you notice you did not see the working out above so we put that on another page so you could appendix it and add the calculations there all right you don't want to put it in the result because you don't want it to be bombarded with information you just want to be specific on the information that you said you would collect all right so the total body weight here of the chicks you take the the day one weight from the day six right right here so the 46 minus the 1.14 will that will give you right here the total weight of the chicks and then you calculate the total feed and of course you will calculate the fcr which you would put the total feed intake which is this 104.5 over the 44 and you'll get that 2.3 here and same thing for the other one so you the working out you put that on another page all right so let's go to the discussion all right so let us quickly look back at the grades the marks allocated just quickly 
All right, so the, the result, that the result values four marks, right? And discussion, it values three marks. And the limitation, recommendation, and conclusion, all of them together value three marks, one each. All right, so let's go over back quickly to the discussion. So of course, so of course you would discuss the results. So discuss meaning you would explain, define, give reasons, advantage, disadvantages, etc. We looked at three components of the results and the first one was feed consume. So let's get into it. The chicks from both sections at the same amount of feed. The chicks did not show signs of stress. It, was, it is saying here that because they weren't showing any sign of stress, maybe that's why they ate the same amount. Alright, both of them were okay. Alright, number two, the live weight of the chickens. So let's discuss that. The total weight of the 10 chicks fed on hyper feed was 1.7 pounds higher than the chickens fed on Nutramix feed. The total live weight of the chicks fed on hyper feed was 46 pounds, while the chicks fed on Nutramix feed was 44.3 pounds. Alright, so please note you used up your figures and then your reasons here now. This could be influenced by the percentage of protein present in different types of feed. Hyper had 20% protein, while the Nutramix had 19% protein. Protein contributes to the body weight of the chick, so because I pro had 1% more protein, the chick weighed 46 pounds. The quantity of protein, they are different. So it is saying that here, when they look at the, the ingredients, that tag that come on the, the feed bag, if you look at it good and proper, you see that I pro have 1% more protein than the 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 new tramic, so that could maybe contribute to the increase in weight of the chicks that were fed the hypo. All right, so that was what the discussion there is saying. So let's go to the third point, which is the feed conversion ratio. Let's get into it. Chicks fed on hyper feed have a lower FCR 2.3 to 1 than chicks fed on Nutramix feeds 2.4 to 1. This means that the chicks that were given the hyper at less hyper feed to put on one pound of body weight compared to those that were given Nutramix feed. This result could be influenced by the percentage of protein present in different types of feed. Hyper had 20% protein while the Nutramix had 19% protein. Protein contributes to the body weight of the chicks so because hyper had 1% more protein the chicks weighed 46 pounds. According to Ramar Singh R, author of the Agriculture Science or CSEC examination textbook 2011, marketing batches of mature farm animals promptly before the feed conversion ratio increases. This avoids spending more on feed at a time when the increase in body weight is slowing down. So what that um, quoting is saying is that the younger the chickens, their FCR ability is better. Once they get old, they they will convert less feed. So that is what it's saying. So, so in this experiment, basically, it is saying that you try to feed your chicks hyper if hyper is having a better FCR. That's what it is saying. All right. So let's go to the conclusion, limitation, and recommendation. All right. So of course, here it says conclusion there. It can be concluded that chicks fed hyper feed will be more productive and profitable than chicks fed with Nutramix feeds. Alright, so based on the experiment, that is what it is saying. But uh, let's look at the limitation. Two different brooders and the one at the top had more moisture due to limited ventilation. And two, the recommendation for that is it is recommended that the brooder should be on the same level with lots of ventilation to reduce the moisture. So what that is saying there, the recommendation and the limitation, it's one of the section that all the chickens, one were, they were on both top of each other, one at the top, one at the bottom. So to get a better result, they are saying it's best to have them on the same platform. And of course, what this is saying students and what you need to remember is that you need, this experiment needs to be done more than once 
right and with large amount of chicks to really actually prove if the air is better than the Nutramix but for this experiment and what we did that's what was the result all right guys so please stay tuned until then and please remember to share the videos and subscribe to the channel watch the videos give your support thank you until next time